What's up everybody, it's Ron in here, back with a little bit more of Let's Play World of Warcraft. The ground is a shaking from Mr. Kelleth here. Anyways, today's mini pet is going to be the Anubis Seth Idol. Uh, it is available for drop uh, from the Twin Emperors, uh, which are now soloable at one level 100. Uh, very easily soloable at least. Uh, you've, they've been soloable be before that, but not as easy as they are now. And today's mount, which I'm now on, is the... Which one is this? Uh, the Rusted Proto Drake. It is available from Ulduar uh, meta achievement for getting all the... Or at least certain achievements from the 10-man raid version. Uh, so let's see if I can bring up that achievement really quickly. That's Cataclysm. Dungeons and Raids. Lich King Raid. Secrets of Ulduar. No, that's not right. That isn't right. That is Fall of the Lich King. Because I'm doing it wrong. There we go. Right there. Glory of the Old War Raider. 10. Rusted Proto Drake. So, a handful of achievements you gotta get. Just like the blood soaked, blood bathed frost guy, whatever, that I was riding last episode. Uh, so, let's get straight to it. Today we have to kill some Naga, it does seem. Uh, is the. Looks like the boss may not be up. Okay, yeah, it's been taken out recently. I think I also need to just kill some Naga, so. Um, this place, like, totally cleared out? I'm not even seeing a single Naga. There, there we go. That was weird. Just, uh, more of the cross-realm stuff going on. People, uh, people here doing quests, and I, I don't get to kill all the guys I need. Oh, well, we'll get to it pretty quickly here. Um, I remember this Naga Claw quest used to be fairly annoying. I'm guessing it's a lot clean, more cleaned up at this point. I think they upped the drop rates, so it shouldn't take too long. Besides, I'm killing stuff so quick. Pets barely even getting <laughs> each target. Uh, I have been, as you, I, bleh, those are words. As you can tell lately, I've been uh, showing off some of these meta achievement mounts. Um, and I've been earning them recently just because they're very soloable now. However, occasionally I do run into a boss that's been pretty hard to take down solo. Um, not necessarily dying on each time, but you may not get the achievement, or you may die, or the event may discontinue because you're only one player there, you know, trying to solo it, stuff like that. So I have been making guides for some of the really hard ones. Um, two are already out. I do have three more planned. Problem is, I have to actually get the achievements. Uh, to be able to show them to you, so I'm going to continue working on those, but they're getting some good views, and the uh, reason I bring this whole thing up is if you guys run into anything uh, like that, let me know, and I will explore it and see if I can make a video out for uh, a little guide, because what I've found is a lot of the guides on YouTube for this kind of stuff are just, they're either low quality or cluttered with a lot of garbage. And I consider myself to be fairly straightforward with the information, and I'm not putting music in them or anything like that. I'm not making them longer than they need to be, and I'm trying to show how to do it at level 100 completely solo. Uh, w another one I have planned is the Spine of Deathwing. That is a fairly confusing fight and can be frustrating to a certain degree, but I have figured that one out. So that will probably be one of the next ones I do. But anything like that, if you're out there and you got something and it's just making you mad and you can't figure it out and simply words off Wowhead isn't helping and there aren't any quality videos out there, I will definitely look into it for you, so let me know. And, uh, you know, that that's what we all want. A simple guide that gives you the exact information you need. Is this guy just... What level? 64? I think I'm going to have to camp this guy and I, that's not what I want to do. What other quests do I need to do? Let's go investigate the lake. Uh, you just got to fly to this point, I believe, so that won't take much. Um, okay, this is into a cave. I don't really want to do that one right now. Might have to, though. Let's see here. The explore point should be... I think it's this pump, so we'll go over to this pump. Make sure I get that. Did I get it? Yes. No. Yes. Yes. 
Oh, hey, stop shooting me, lady. All right, we'll see if we can go back and get Rajaj here. Uh, we can also go up to Rajis, uh, the other one. There, it's a two-boss kind of thing, so might need to end up doing that simply because of this guy who seems to just be killing here. I don't, I don't know if he's doing claws and killing this guy anyways because of it, but let's see if we can get him. There we go. Problem solved. I worried too much about it. I still am looking up here for buffs, and there's just nothing. I wonder if I'm missing something. Really don't think I am, but is what it is. I don't know. All right, we're going to fly up north to this one. Hopefully that guy isn't uh, up there anymore, or up there now. Looks like he may have left the area. And while I fly, I need to turn a fan on. There we go, that is simply done. Getting kind of hot in here. My computer is like a little heater that just makes my room hot and gross. And nobody wants that. At least I don't. You don't care, I guess. You're not You're not sitting in here. Really do like this Proto Drake mount. I've always been a fan of the Proto Drakes. I don't... I don't know what most people's feelings are on them, but I like them. They're cool. I wouldn't mind seeing more. Um, boss is also down here. Alright, well, we need to kill Naga anyways, like I said. Oh, nope, not the same guy, though, at least. But, uh, definitely a dude. Go away! Go away! Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the changes coming on, uh, heirlooms, but they are going to be putting them into a tab similar to mounts and toys and pets. Uh, really cool option. It's going to give us the ability to have them account-wide on any character, duplicates even as well. The only problem is they are going to adjust their current levels. All heirlooms will uh, currently go to, I think, 80, 80, 85? Um, does not actually... There we go, 85. Yeah, all current heirlooms go to 80. Well, no, maybe that one's upgraded. I don't know. Okay, yes, the first series of heirlooms went to 80. The second series go to 85. Then you can upgrade a lot of them to go to, I think, 90. And what they're going to do is make three levels of heirlooms. Base level for all heirlooms is going to be 1 to 60. Now, after that, you can pay to upgrade them uh, with tokens that you're going to earn. I don't know how you earn these tokens. There isn't really information on them yet. And nothing is spawning here. There we go. There isn't any information on how you earn this, these credits or tokens or currency or whatever just yet, unfortunately. But once you get enough of those, you'll upgrade it to a level, uh, I think, 90 heirloom. Or maybe it was 80. Something around that range. And then the third and final heirloom upgrade will go all the way to 100. So you'll actually get to use it currently for this expansion, which will be nice uh, for alts and stuff. But... It is going to be a little bit of a downgrade initially for our heirlooms, which is rather unfortunate. I'm not uh, terribly excited about that, but it is what it is. I think overall, once we're into the system for a while, it will definitely be a better system. Stay away from me. How many claws am I on? Only 17. That is uh, not ideal, especially considering I have to ke keep checking for this stupid boss. There we go. Let's get her. Use my cursor there for a second. There we go. Once it... Oh, she's casting a spell. Good. I was worried that she evaded for a second. Don't want that. Don't want that. There we go. Oh, summoned a water elemental. There we go. And so let's get the rest of these claws, hopefully. Go on a wholesale slaughter of Naga over here. Isn't there a little quest item that drops off these guys? I think so, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm obviously haven't gotten one yet. I think there is uh like pump plans. Maybe they're a fairly rare drop because I don't think they're part of any quest chain. They they themselves are a chain. Which you never know. A lot of quests out here have been retired here and there over the years. On the basis of chains have been broken and the way instances work now. 
Uh, the pump plans may have actually led to an in-dungeon quest. Uh, if I remember right, I'm not completely certain on that, but it feels like it's a thing. Ooh, I'm getting my plant parts too. That'll be good. Remember plant parts? They were a heck of a thing. You would uh, collect these plant parts, and I think for every five, after you've done the primary quest, you can turn them in for a little bag of goodies and rep. And it was a really good way. I think you could only go to honored with them. But what you would do is end up with you know a couple hundred on a character and not need them all. So you'd send them to alts, and alts could come into here um, as soon as they could come in and instantly have honored with the faction. It was pretty cool. And I kind of miss little faction rep grind token things like that. We don't really get those anymore. And if you do, they're typically soul bound or even account bound, but very rare. And so something like that is a nostalgia point. You know, it's it's unimportant now. I don't have to do it at all, but it'd be cool to see something like that in the new one of the newer zones. Is what it is, I guess. Old nostalgia stuff again. More and more Naga. I do remember being bothered by this quest, and I'm being bothered by it now. I'm trying to clean up here. Thankfully, there are lots and lots of Naga on this map. And, I mean, realistically, you don't need to do this all at once. Um, it's one of the quest designs that have also kind of changed with Blizzard. Uh, this quest is really probably intended to be done over a series of several Naga quests. But you get the quest, and you're like, I want to finish the quest right now. I don't know if I'm coming back to these Naga zones, you know, that kind of stuff. So, eh, it is what it is, I guess. Did we get... Yeah, we did get the plant parts. Awesome. We'll turn all this stuff in. That's going to get us to 63. I almost guarantee it. Um, we're going to explore Talador here, too. This is a alliance base, so I want to be a little careful. In fact, I'm going to fly below it. I should. I should discover it. Tell Redor, I guess, not Talador. There we go. Talador is something in... Not Outland, in Draenor, isn't it? Yes, it's a whole zone. It's an entire freaking zone. What is happening? What the heck? Stormhammer. What? Why am I... It's not hurting me. I'm not PvP flagged. I have no idea. It is a guard thing, but... They didn't kill me and I didn't get PvP flagged. That's... That's bizarre. Alright. Alright. Wh whatever. Wants you to use the Major Storm Crow amulet. We're gonna hold off on that. That uh, turns you into a Storm Crow and you fly around for a bit. I don't wanna do that at the moment. Oh, none to turn in there. Whoops. Be nice if somebody give me a cape for one of these quest turn ins. I wanna stop wearing this uh, level item level 15. It's like a level 10 cloak. Uh, some potions. Um, definitely an upgraded belt, though. We'll take that. And... Yeah, don't give me another belt. That would be annoying. And... Up upgraded gloves. Nice. Yes. All right. Day of the upgrades. Can't ignore with... Or complain about that. Not gonna get a cloak, though. Yeah, that's a shame. What's up, lady? Gonna just, uh, give me some of these plant parts. Let's see what we got in our little bag. There it is. Uh, crappy plants and some edible plants. All right, that's what you get 99% of the time. I think there's like a pet in there or something, but I already have all of the stuff you really want from it. Well, yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for now. Um, I've got to do the Stormcrow quest, so I'll probably do that next time, and then we'll hit up the cave as well. Oh, we're not 63. Screw it, we're gonna do the Stormcrow quest right now. That should get us to 63. Uh, this is just going to fly you around. It's kind of an annoying quest. I believe once you complete it, though, you can log out and log back in, and it will complete it. Uh, I'm not going to try that just because I don't want to mess with it right now, and because I'm recording, it'd be a little annoying to pop in and out like that, but... Hmm. Give a little nice tour of Zanger Marsh here. I don't... I don't think you get Explore Credit. Actually, maybe you do. We'll see. Because I'm guessing it's going to go to at least one or two places I have not actually flown to. 
So we'll see if I get explore credit for it. A lot of these flight path things like this where you turn into something and fly around typically doesn't give you an explore point. But I'm only reason I'm guessing this one does is it's so old. They it was just before they kind of implemented some of that stuff. Um I'm guessing I haven't been out here. It shows I have some of the lake, but definitely don't remember coming out to this. I've been out here several times lately just because I'm farming uh, a few pets down in Serpentine Caverns. I think that's right. There's, there's so many names of dungeons down here. There's two, three instances, and the raid. Yeah, there's three instances and a raid down here, so it's it's a few. But uh, I haven't got any explore points, so I'm guessing, yeah, it doesn't... It's doesn't work. It's disabled while you're on this uh, flight path or whatever you want to call it. I mean, it currently shows me as an actual storm crow, so it is what it is. That model is so sad and old. No reason to update it, though. Not uh, a lot of storm crows in game. Heck, I don't even think there are storm crow druids. Maybe in uh, Moonglade and stuff. Well, here's a definitive answer. I haven't been up here. This should give me this one. Um, Yeah, definitely didn't give it to me. Give me the complete edition on the quest, though. Which I will take, and it's not going to take long to land. Maybe before I logged out right away and actually completed the whole loop. I don't remember. It is one unfortunate thing. You can't skip it. Uh, you do indeed have to write it out, but... Whatever. Gonna turn that in, get the level 63. Boom! There we go. Alright, guys. That is gonna do it for me, Zorondin, my new Seth idol named Jaffa. Stargate reference. And, uh, please do thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time!